Welcome to part 6 of lecture 4 of Bluff Body Aerodynamics. So finally let's talk about some of the other uh, contributions to drag. So the roughness drag models the complexities of the vehicle shape. Right, so the details of the underbody exhaust system, fuel tank, the suspension, the wheels, the mirrors, antennas, lights, door handles, all the stuff that makes the shape not be smooth. Um, as an example of the significance, the two exterior side mirrors together typically contribute about 4% to the overall vehicle drag. In terms of how the wheels end up producing drag, basically because you get a complex vertical structure because of this rotating surface. Um, the net effect is typically an increase in drag because there's extra surface area and we get some angular momentum generated that is not used in the air. It's ultimately dissipated by viscosity. Finally, we can think about interference drag, and this is sort of a case where the total is typically more than the sum of the parts. Um, the flow is changed by the presence of add-on parts like mirrors, etc. And the total drag minus the sum of the drag of all the components is the interference drag. As we saw earlier in the course, conceptually interference drag can be negative. Um, you know, when we saw side-by-side -side bodies, there was a positive interference drag, but when we had bodies in series, there was a negative interference drag. Finally, um, drag's not the only force or moment that matters when we're talking about vehicles. It's the most important one for fuel consumption, but the lift and the moments are important for driving stability. Um, and these can be more sensitive to small changes in uh, yaw angle or the, the angle of the flow um, sort of from a top-down perspective relative to the vehicle. Uh, this happens due to side winds. Uh, so these things are more sensitive to, than drag is to, to that yaw angle. But we're just going to focus on the most critical force drag here. So we're not going to pay much attention to these other uh, parts. If you're interested in this though, again, section this is in the text in section 4.4 has details. So that's the end of lecture four. This sets us up to do lab two next week and we'll return and look at the details of some of the uh, geometric features and how they affect these different types of drag in more detail in lecture five.